Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We are back again for another week here in the shop. Uh, we've got a pretty busy week ahead of us here. We've got three resin pours we plan on doing. So there's one map of burl resin pour, one bass stone walnut resin pour, and then there's a Clara walnut resin pour, which is actually our first ever uh, round dining table that we've made with resin. So we're very excited about that. Um, that's probably gonna be some of the main focus. We'll show you how we built the mold for that and a few, few more details on creating that piece. And another thing I wanted to tell you guys about, this is actually our 50 second video, which means that we have been doing YouTube for one year now. Uh, I, we couldn't have done it without you guys. This has been such an awesome journey. There's been so much support from all of you and it means a lot to us to have all of you guys watching. And we do have something special for all of our subscribers and people watching our videos, but that will be at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch till the end. Hey everyone, so it is Monday now. We're getting ready to do another resin pour. This one is gonna be with Mappa Burl. So finally something that's not walnut. Uh, Mappa Burl is actually just poplar burl, but these slabs come from France. So they call them the Mappa Burl. I don't know why, but that's, that's what it is. So they want us to do a Bow River Blue, and the Bow River is a river here in Calgary. This is for a Calgary company. So we're, we're gonna be using this blue dye and then the blue-green pigment from Black Diamond, and we should, we should be able to get pretty close to what they're looking for. Yep, three, two, one, go. starting work on our next table. This is actually gonna be the first ever round dining table we've done. It's, it's kind of surprising that after all the tables we've made, this is the first one, but we've quoted a few, but we've never had anyone actually go for one. Like, well, actually we did do the round granite table, but that was just kind of for fun because we wanted to make it. But this is it here. This is what we're gonna be making. Spencer and Ben just finished laying this out. So it's Clara Walnut Burl, and then we're gonna probably be doing a solid black resin in here. I'm pretty sure it's solid black. I just gotta confirm with the client. Um, but next up, what Spencer and Ben are gonna do is they're gonna trim these walnut pieces to size, and then they're actually gonna build the mold. So we're not gonna do a square mold for this. We're actually gonna make a, an octagon shape mold. Um, just so we're not gonna be wasting like resin in these corners here. We don't wanna have to fill this because it's just gonna waste money. So we'll show you sort of the process that Spencer and Ben are gonna go through to build the mold. We'll cut the slabs and then we'll do the pour.
you just watched Ben and Spencer put together the mold for the burl pieces. So now what Ben is doing here is he's actually debarking all of the, the excess that's on the burls. Uh, the reason that we actually remove the bark is so that we can get a proper bond. You know, a lot of people, they want to leave the bark on because it looks good. And while we do agree that it does look good, if you leave the bark on, what happens is your epoxy is bonding to the bark and the only thing holding the whole table together is the bond between the bark and the piece of wood. So we always, we chip it off, usually the big chunks with the chisel, and then we go at it with a wire wheel on a drill and get rid of all the debris. We are upstairs in the pour room again, getting ready to do those next two pours that we talked about. Um, right here in front of me, I've got two Bastone walnut slabs in the mold. So this is gonna be for a four foot by eight foot final size table. We usually build the molds like two inches bigger, uh, one inch in each direction, so a total of two inches. Uh, and that is just so if there's any, if any silicone comes off the edge, if we get any imperfections on the end, or this bit, of, this little gap here, we can cut that off so this isn't at final size yet. Um, the other pour we're gonna do, we're quite excited about this one. It is our first round resin table we're making. We've made one with granite, but this is the Clara Walnut Burl that we're gonna do for our round table. And that is actually the rendering there. We're about to place these ones in the mold, so that's what we're gonna be shooting for with this. And it's probably gonna take quite a bit of resin. It's gonna be a nice bright blue, but the, the burl's gonna look really good. We're gonna leave it transparent so you can still see this live edge. are done that was that was a lot of epoxy to pour all in one day I think it was something like 240 liters ish maybe a little bit less but we got it all done here uh, so these pieces will sit in the mold until probably Monday or Tuesday then we'll take them out so next week you can see us continuing work on those but beside me here this is the surprise for our one year video on YouTube you guys actually might recognize these pieces from last week's video they were made by Sagar and I in last week's uh, build your own wall art class and we've actually decided to give them away. So we'll put a few more coats on them before they ship out, um, but they're just nice little wall art pieces. We'll probably machine a keyhole so you can put them on your wall. And all we're asking you guys to do to enter to win this is 
Leave a comment on this video and even better if you let us know what your favorite video of the whole year was. We, we just want to hear from you guys and hear what you liked. So I hope you liked this week's video. Thanks for spending a year with us on YouTube and we'll see you next week.